Hi, I'm Heather Tyson for Toyota of Katy and CarPro. Today we are driving the 2015 Toyota Corolla. The Corolla has been around a long time. This is the 11th generation of this vehicle and it's the best selling nameplate of all time. The model we're driving is called the S Plus. The exterior styling is sharp. The S dresses up the Corolla with what Toyota calls the piano black grille that has chrome accents, 17 inch alloy wheels, an integrated rear spoiler, and a chrome tip exhaust. It looks much more aggressive than it's looked in the previous generations. And the model now has LED headlamps and daytime running lamps, which is standard across the board. Inside, the S model gives you sport fabric inserts on the seats with thicker bolsters. Now, I like the way they feel. They feel supportive to me, but for some people, it might feel a little bit tight. The dash looks very modern and sleek. It has that same piano black accent and a color piping along the dashboard and in the door panel. I think the whole thing looks elegant and it's flat, which I mean in a good way. It feels like the cabin is open and spacious. It just gives it a much more modern look and looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. Under the hood is a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine, delivers 132 horsepower and 128 pound feet of torque. That is mated with a continuously variable transmission or CVT. A lot of driving enthusiasts don't like CVTs. It makes the driving very flat. It feels like there's no gear shifting. With this model, the Toyota has added an S to the CVT, which stands for shift. All that means is they've added designated shift points. So you feel the car shifting, you hear it shifting. All in all, it feels much more like a regular transmission. And with the sport tune suspension, it's fun. It feels firm yet comfortable. The leather wrapped steering wheel of the S model feels solid and it's been really responsive. I'm really surprised how much fun this vehicle is to drive. When it comes to interior cabin space, it's right on par with the competition. Where the Corolla excels is in rear legroom. The back seat is really big. It's the best in class. It's actually bordering on the next class size when it comes to specs. And it feels like it could be a family vehicle. Now I have the seat all the way back. I think it's a little tight in front for the driver, but it all depends on how tall you are. And new this year, additional cup holders in the back seat on that center armrest. When it comes to cargo space, it's a respectable 13.0 cubic feet of space or five suitcases in our suitcase test. When it comes to standard features on the S model, you'll see the Entune audio with a USB port. You'll have Bluetooth for hands-free cell phone use and audio streaming. The 6.1 inch touchscreen does include phone book access and a backup camera. There's a new package this year called the premium package that will upgrade the car to include navigation system, push button start and a moonroof. Or you can do what we've done here is just add the moonroof as a standalone option, making our test car total out at about $22,000. Overall, I'm really impressed with this Corolla. Again, it's been years since I've driven one, but I do not remember it being this much fun. Maybe the non S versions don't feel this way, but I love the look of it. I like how solid it handles, how responsive it is. And I think the interior looks so upscale. It's a really great value for the cost. I think Toyota knocked it out of the park on this one, and I'm gonna give the Toyota Corolla S a five out of five stars. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Heather Tyson. See you next time.